The universe of A Song of Ice and Fire is a real treat and it offers an unlimited source of inspiration to make a great RPG. We started contacting George Martin seven years ago and tried to adapt his universe to create a role-playing game. When we started working on the game, the TV series was only a rumor. So we created our own environments and our own characters, but always with total respect for the universe of George Martin. The challenge was to create characters who fit with the Song of Ice and Fire universe. We wanted them to be encored in the existing world. It was really important they had their friends, enemies, their own families, their own story and past. If you had played famous characters from the original novels, there would be no surprise, no choices, as you would already know how it ends. I remember I spent entire days working with George to make sure our heroes, their enemies and the quest we created fit perfectly to the universe he created. He gave us precious information and feedback about everything we've created, including the designs of the places, about all the artwork we produced. It's fantastic to see how George Martin is passionate about his saga and how he could be involved and interested by the way he wanted to extend his universe. It was a real honor working with George. This is why we made sure everything we have created was faithful to the saga Song of Ice and Fire. In the book, the story is told through the point of view of many different characters, and we decided from the very beginning that we wanted to follow the same way. So we built the script through the point of view of two different heroes. As there are two original heroes, the player will leave a brand new plot and will have choices to make. It's really important for the player to feel he's the master of the destiny of his characters. It's more exciting than following the story of the famous character you know by heart. The choices of the player will have dramatic consequences on his adventure in the short term, but also in the long term. At first, the player will leave the story of Morse, a ranger of the Night's Watch. Morse is a skin changer able to send his mind directly into his dog to control it. A lot of gameplay sequences and also the battles will turn really interesting thanks to this ability. Morse is a grim guy, a dark type, he's not super friendly, he will often choose a brutal solution. The player will also embody Alistair Sawick. Alistair is a red priest. He is more diplomatic, he is the one who takes time to discuss and tries to find the solution to problems using his brain. Alistair can also use fire. It's not like casting fireballs, but you will love flaming his weapons using oil or wildfire. He's more into tricks and dexterity battle style. The player will leave the destiny of these two heroes and their epic quest, along a story following the course of the first novel, A Game of Thrones. We hope you will all love visiting Westeros. And honestly, take care if you cross the paths of Cersei Lannister, Lord Varys, or Jera Moment. And be sure, choices you make will have consequences.